Here the solutions are negative 23, positive 5, and negative 4x squared minus 6x plus 5. Excellent thinking if you got all those correct. For this first one, we'll start by finding the f of 2. We'll take 2 and plug that in for x and the function f. Doing so, we get an output of positive 12. So when the input of f is 2, the output is 12. So we just replace f of 2 with 12. Now we just need to find g of 12. We let g's input be 12, so negative 2 times 12 is negative 24, plus 1 is negative 23. This is how we get our first value. For the second problem, we want to find g of f of 0. So we start by finding f of 0. We let x equal 0 for the function f, and then when we solve this or simplify it, we get negative 2. So we know f of 0 equals negative 2. So we just replace this value with negative 2. So letting x equal negative 2 for g, we get an output of positive 5. This is our second solution. And finally, for g of f of x, we simply take the entire function f of x and we plug it in as the input for g of x. So wherever we see x, we'll replace that with 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. Distributing the negative 2, we'll have negative 4x squared minus 6x plus 4. And then we'll have plus 1 on the end. Combining these two like terms, we'll have our final composite function.